गया है Hi, um, Al, Al Jones, is that, uh, is that you there? I'm assuming that one of those is you. <laughs> Sheila, hi Sheila. So, so good to see you. Okay, and I'm going to check my framing really quick. Bear with me. Okay, so as far as um, props go, we are going to be working up for it, and Sheila, you'll like to hear this. We're going to work up, work on back lines today. Um, we'll be working up toward, um, through our, our flowing sequence, working up toward Echopodrogic Capitasana 1. So if you um, want to go for the full form of the pose and need a strap for, the, for clasping the back foot, you might want to have that handy. Um, blocks might also be helpful, but um, we won't be using them explicitly. And we will get started in about five more minutes. A couple minutes after the official start time. It says there's two people on here. Who else is here? And how have you been, Sheila? It's been a long time. <laughs> Yeah, I it's like I hear you there. I hear you. I think that um, the way that you teach, though, hey Al, I think the way that you teach Sheila would translate really well to an online format. I think you should just get started. You know, a lot of times how we learn how to do something is just by saying like, okay, <laughs> I'm good. I'm gonna try this, um, and I think that you're you're ready to do that. So do it. I believe in you. Hmm. And certainly if you, Sheila, if you want to just like kind of bounce ideas off of me or, or just like have some questions, um, it's like you can always reach out to me. It's like I am happy to get on the phone and kind of talk things through with you. Okay, so those of you joining know that we'll start in about three more minutes. Um, I always like to give a little bit of time, a little bit of a, a window after the official start time to make sure that everybody gets in. Um, and the things that you like might be helpful today, might be most helpful is a strap or a small towel. Um, and this is only if you want to go after the full form of Ekapadaraja Kaputasana 1. Um, it's for clasping the back foot. Um, we will be working up toward that. It doesn't mean that you have to do it. Um, as per usual, I'll be building in other options as we move along. So the strap or small towel might be helpful. And any other props you like to have handy. I'm going to get a sip of water.
To those of you just joining, welcome, welcome, good morning. Um, make sure that you have your mat set up, maybe some water by the side of your mat, although I don't know that you'll have time to drink it during class. Um, but uh, also a scrap or a small towel might be helpful for practice today. Um, and any other props you usually like to have. And we will get started in just a minute. We'll take a little bit more time. And also, since we do have a little bit of time, if you would like to say hello, I would love to know who's here. There's a little chat box right over here. Um, you can type in your name and, and where you're from. Um, maybe it's like something. Emily, yay, Emily Maria, back for round two. <laughs> yay. We're working back bends again for this practice. Um, the idea is that the first practice kind of helps to warm up for for the um, for the second practice. Kristen, yay! Good morning. Al and Joan are here. Yay! All right, all. I'm going to wait a few more seconds, so we're on the countdown, and then we will get started. Um, again, thing, something that might be helpful because we're working up toward Ekapata Rajakapotasana 1 um, doesn't mean that you like have to go after the full form of the pose, but if you do want to, having a strap or a small hand towel close by would be really helpful. Okay, I'm going to call it. Let's do this. I'm going to go to my mat. You go to yours. All right, come to the top of your mat and bring your feet and legs all the way together to touch, stand tall in Tadasana. We'll start with a few rounds of Ujjayi Pranayam. Inhale deeply. Exhale, empty out completely. <sighs> Create a light tone at the back of your throat, tone and lift your pelvic floor. Inhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, same pace. And exhale. Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, lift your arms up over your head, Urdhva Namaskara Asana. Exhale, fold down over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step or hop back, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, curl your chest up, Urdhva Mukha Shvanasana. Exhale, lift your hips up and back, Adho Mukha Shvanasana. Take a breath, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift your right leg up toward the ceiling, three-legged down dog. Exhale, place your right foot all the way up between your hands, bend your left knee and lower down and point your left foot. Plant your left palm firmly on the floor, then turn your chest to your right and stretch your right arm back. You can stay here or bend your left knee, lift your left foot up. You can stay there or clasp the outer edge of your foot and hug your heel towards your left hip, coming into a twisted quad stretch. If you do want to take the stretch a little deeper, lower down to your left forearm. We'll be here for a couple more breaths. And then slowly release the clasp on your left foot. Walk back up to your palms. Step back, plank. Inhale. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, lift your left leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale, place your left foot up between your hands. Bend your right knee, lower it down. Point your right foot. Plant your right palm firmly. Turn your chest to your left and stretch your left arm back. Either stay here or bend your right knee. Lift your right foot up. And either stay there or clasp the outer edge of your foot and hug your heel toward your right hip. If you do want to take this stretch a little bit deeper, lower down to your right forearm. And we'll be here for a couple more breaths. Okay, and slowly release the clasp on your right foot. Walk back up to your palms. Step back, plank. Inhale. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. 
Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. And take one more inhale. On your exhale, bend your knees and walk or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, draw your gaze forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold down over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise all the way up, join your palms, Urdhva Namaskarasana. Exhale, lower your arms down by your sides and stand tall, Tadasana. Stretch your arms up over your head, interlace your fingers, release your index fingers. Tip your torso to your right. And stretch from your left foot all the way out to your left index finger, a little side bend. Inhale, come back up to center. Tip your torso to your left and stretch from your right foot all the way out to your right index finger. Mm -hmm. Inhale, come back up to center. Then exhale, lift your right thigh up into your chest and then bring your hands to the front of your shin. Interlace your fingers, hugging your thigh up high. Now, slowly, so like try to keep your leg this high as you slowly release the clasp on the front of your shin and place your hands on your hips. Okay, good. Now, keep your right knee bent and draw your leg back behind you. Hug your right heel towards your right hip. We'll pause for a couple more breaths just to, to feel some muscular engagement on the back of your right thigh. This is a hamstring strength in our Bring your palms to the center of your chest. Lower your chest back down and straighten your right leg coming into warrior three. Pause for a breath here. Stay steady. And then bend your left knee, guide the ball of your right foot down and spin your right heel in and down. Come up warrior one. Either keep your gaze forward or draw your gaze up and join your palms. Anchor through your right heel, stretch all the way up to your arms. Last inhale, reach up. And exhale, step back, lower down, Chakturanga Dandasana. Inhale, curl your chest up, Urdhva Mukhashvanasana. Exhale, lift your hips up and back, Adho Mukhashvanasana. Inhale deeply. On your exhale, crawl or slide to the top of your mat on your shins and stand up on your knees, coming into a position for Ustrasana. Place your hands on your hips, lengthen your buttocks down, lift your low belly in and up, send your thighs forward. Draw from your knees all the way up into your hips. Zip from your pubic bone all the way to your sternum. Come up over and back. Then bring your right hand to your right heel, your left hand to your left heel. Or if that's not accessible right now, keep your hands on your hips and just come into a back bend. Mm -hmm. And breathe steadily, deeply. Mm -hmm. Now keep this same back bend shape. Bring your right hand to your right hip, left hand to your left hip. Tone your belly to lift your torso up. Place your hands in front of your knees and either step it back one foot at a time or press down to your shins, your feet, and pop it back. Chakturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, Adho Svanasana. Inhale, lift your right leg up toward the ceiling. And exhale, bring your right shin up to your wrist, your right knee close to your right wrist, your shin across your body, and come into pigeon prep. Mm -hmm. So first, hip opener. And briefly fold down over your right shin. As deep as feels appropriate right now. A couple more breaths. And walk your hands back in. Keep your right hand in front of your shin. Hug your inner thighs in. Create space in your low back. And then bend your left knee. Hug your left heel towards your left hip. Reach your left hand back to clasp the inner edge of your foot. And then hug your heel in towards your left hip just as much as you're able right now. You want to take your chest up a little bit higher. You can bring your right hand to your right thigh. And especially it's like if you can balance there with your hand on your thigh. Okay. One more breath here. Breathe deeply. And then slowly release the clasp on your left foot. Plant both palms firmly. And step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward plank. Exhale, lower down, chop through rung. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale deeply. On your exhale, bend your knees, walk or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, draw your gaze forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold down over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise all the way up, Urdhva Namaskarasana. Exhale, lower your arms down by your sides and stand tall. Stretch your arms up over your head, interlace your fingers, release your index fingers, and then tip your torso to your left first this time. Stretch from your right foot all the way out through your right index finger. Inhale, come back up through center. Tip your torso to your right. Stretch from your left foot all the way out through your left index finger. 
Inhale, come back up through center. And then hug your left side into your chest. Take your hands down on the front of your shin and hug your thighs a little bit higher. Now, try to keep your leg this high as you slowly release the clasp. Mm -hmm. Place your hands on your hips. Breathe. And then keep your left knee bent as you draw your left leg back behind you. And focus on hugging your left heel towards your left hip. Engaging, strengthening, maybe even just like slightly cramping your hamstrings. <laughs> Bring your palms to the center of your chest. Bring your torso down until it's parallel to the floor. Straighten your left leg. Virabhadrasana three. Okay, fantastic all. Slowly bend your right knee, guide the ball of your left foot down, spin your left heel in and down, and lift your torso up. Virabhadrasana one. Mm -hmm. Either keep your gaze forward or draw your gaze up and join your palms. Anchor through your left heel and stretch up to your arms. Last inhale. Exhale, step back, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, curl your chest up, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, lift your hips up and back, Adho Mukha Shvanasana. Inhale deeply. On your exhale, curl or slide onto your shins at the top of your mat and stand on your shins for Ustrasana. Place your hands on your hips, lengthen your body down, lift your low belly in and up. Send your thighs forward, lean your upper chest back. Draw up the fronts of your thighs. Draw a zip from your pubic bone to your sternum, lean back. Place your left hand on your left heel, right hand on your right heel, or simply keep your hands on your hips. Couple breaths in Ustrasana, second side. Mm, stay steady and strong. Okay, keep this same shape. Bring your left hand to your left hip, right hand to your right hip, tone your belly to lift your torso up. Place your hands in front of your knees. Either step back or pop it back to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale, bring your left shin up to your wrist. Left knee close to your left wrist, shin across your body, and stretch your right leg back. And start by folding down over your left shin. Take a couple breaths here. Fold as deeply as feels appropriate right now. And walk your hands back in. Keep your left hand in front of your left shin. Hug your inner thighs in to protect your low back. Then hug your right heel toward your right hip. Stretch your right hand back, clasp the inner edge of your right foot. And as much as you're able, hug your right heel in toward your outer right hip. Again, you can stay with your palm on the floor. It's a little bit more stable here. If you feel stable and you wanna lift up a little bit higher, you can place your left hand on your left thigh. Okay, one more breath. Good, everyone. And place your palms in front of your left shin. Step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward plank. Exhale, chakturana. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale here. On your exhale, bend your knees, walk or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, draw your gaze forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold down over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise all the way up, join your palms, Urdhva Namaskarasana. Exhale, lower your arms down by your sides and stand tall. Stretch your arms up over your head. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers. And tip your torso to your right. Stretch from your left foot all the way out through your left index finger and take another breath. Good. Inhale, come back up through center, tip your torso to your left. And stretch from your right foot all the way out through your right index finger. Good. And inhale, come back up to center. And bring your right thigh up into your chest. But this time around, take your left hand to your left hip and stretch your right arm inside your right thigh, clasp your right big toe. Stretch your right leg forward. Uttita Hastapangushtasana. And draw your right arm and right leg out to your right. Uttita Parshva Hastapangushtasana. Quite a mouthful. And draw your right arm and right leg back forward. Try to keep your leg where it is as you slowly release the clasp on your right big toe, point your right foot, hold, five, four, three, two, one. Then flex your right foot, swoop it down and through, then bend your right knee coming back into the hamstring strengthener, hamstring curl. Hug your right heel towards your right hip. Reach back with your right hand and clasp the outer edge of your right foot, hug your inner thighs into touch, stretch your left arm forward, not to adjust in a dancer pose. Kick back and up. Keep on lifting your chest and sternum up as you do so. Make it an upright form of the pose. Kick back into your right hand, stretch forward with your left arm. One more time, kick back and stretch forward. 
keep kicking into your right hand as you come back into the, the hamstring curl. Okay, so release the clasp on your right foot. Keep your knee bent, palms to the center of your chest. And then warrior three. Lower your torso down until it's parallel to the floor. Straighten your right leg. Inhale here. Exhale, standing split this time. Fold down over your left leg. Fold in. And stretch your right heel higher. Walk your hands forward. Either come straight through vinyasa or a couple little hops up toward handstand on your way back through vinyasa. Your choice, up to you. <laughs> Some days are working, work better than others. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and I will meet in downward facing dog. Mm -hmm. All righty. Inhale, lift your right leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale, place your right foot all the way between your hands and come up into crescent lunge. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers. Dip your torso a little bit to your right. Mm-hmm. You can stretch up the front of your thigh into the lower abdominal region. Then inhale, bring your torso back to center. Bend your left knee, lower down, hover. Inhale, straighten. Two more times, lower down, hover. And straighten. Last time, lower, hover. And straighten. This time, come all the way down, touch down softly. Point your left foot. Place your hands on your hips. Shift your weight back until your left thigh is vertical. That lengthen your buttocks down, lift your low belly and up, finding neutral pelvis. Keep that. Bend your right knee a little deeper. Hug your elbows in. Draw from your left foot into your hips. Zip from your pubic bone to your sternum. Come up over and back and lean back. Anjaneyasana. Breathe deeply. Keep your legs, your abdomen, and your neck strong. And tone your belly to lift your torso back up. Exhale, place your hands down onto the floor. Step back, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, curl your chest up, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, lift your hips up and back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, lift your left leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale, place your left foot all the way between your hands and come up into crescent lunge. Mm -hmm. Okay, tip your torso a little bit to your left and stretch from your right hip all the way out through your right index finger. Good, and come back up to center. Bend your right knee lower down and hover. Inhale, straighten. Bend your right knee lower, hover. Inhale, straighten. Last time, lower, hover. And straighten. This time, come all the way down, touch down softly. Point your right foot, place your hands on your hips, shift your weight back, find neutral pelvis. Lengthen buttocks down, lift your low belly in and up. And sit a little deeper. Hug your elbows in toward one another. Draw from your right foot into your hips. Zip from your pubic bone to your sternum. Come up over and back. Lean back. Good, good. Then tone your belly to lift your torso all the way back up. Step back, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, curl your chest up, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, lift your hips up and back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale here. On your exhale, crawl or slide to the top of your mat, palm to your shins, and stand up on your knees. This time around, either Ustrasana, or I'll talk you through Lagu Vajrasana. You'll walk your hands down the backs of your thighs and do a little bit of a movement here. Place your hands on your hips. Lengthen your buttocks down, lift your low belly in and up. Send your thighs forward. Zip up through the fronts of your thighs. Zip from your pubic bone to your sternum. Come up over and back. Now either hands to your heels, or take your hands to the backs of your thighs and crawl your hands down toward the backs of your knees. You may stay here. Or for Laguvajrasana, you're just gonna move from your knees. Send your thighs back, keep the same back bend shape and draw your head down toward the floor. Start small, <laughs> we'll do it a few more times. Head down toward the floor and back up. So like, if you're feeling your quadricep muscles, I'll say yes, that is where you should be feeling it. Okay, one more if you're doing Lagu Vajrasana. Stand all the way up on your knees. Place your hands in front of your knees. Either step back, Chakturanga, or pop it back, Chakturanga. Vinyasa to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale, bring your right shin up to your wrist and come into pigeon prep again. Now, this time around, place your right hand in front of your right shin, bend your left knee, hug your inner thighs in to protect your low back. 
And this also helps with balance. Stretch your left arm back, clasp the inner edge of your foot, hug your heel towards your left hip. You might stay right here, just like the previous time around. Or if you can lift the other hand, it's like you'll lift it in just a moment for mermaid pose. First, hug your left heel in really strongly and then slide your arm out and around so that the top of your foot catches in the crook of your elbow. Point your left fingertips up toward the ceiling, turn your chest to your right, stretch your right arm up, bend your elbow, reach down and clasp your hands together. Mm -hmm. One more breath in this shape. Okay, slowly release the clasp, bring your hands back down, step back, plank, inhale, exhale, chakturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale here. Exhale, bend your knees, walk or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, draw your gaze forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold down over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise all the way up, join your palms or Dhanamaskarasana. Exhale, lower your arms all the way down by your sides. Okay, stretch your arms up over your head. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers. Tip your torso to your left. And stretch from your right foot out through your right index finger. Inhale, come back up through center. Tip your torso to your right. Stretch from your left foot out through your left index finger. Inhale, come back up through center. And hug your left side into your chest. And this time around, take your right hand to your right hip. Stretch your left arm inside your left thigh. Clasp your left big toe. Stretch your left leg forward. Uttita hasta pangustasana. Draw your left arm and left leg out to your left. Mm -hmm. Then draw your left arm and left leg back forward. Slowly release the clasp on your toe, point your left foot, keep it up for five, four, three, two, one. Flex your left foot, swoop it through and back. Then bend your knee, hug your left heel toward your left hip. Coming into hamstring, strength that arc. Good. And reach back with your left hand, clasp the outer edge of your foot, hug your inner thighs in. Stretch your right arm forward for a dancer pose. Kick back and up. As you do so, keep on lifting your chest, your sternum up. Kick back and up, and then kick into your left hand. Stretch forward with your right arm. One more time, kick back and stretch forward. And keep kicking into your left hand as you come back into the hamstring curl, hamstring strengthener. Release the clasp with your left hand. Join your palms together. And come into warrior three. Lower your torso down, stretch your left leg straight. And then come into standing split. Word of Prasar to Ekapayasana. Walk your hands back forward. Either come straight through vinyasa or a couple hops up toward handstand on your way back through vinyasa. <laughs> Too many back bends today. It's taken me out of the pose. <laughs> All right, all. And vinyasa to downward facing dog. We'll meet up there. Hmm. Woo. Okay, lift your left leg up, three-legged down dog. Exhale, place your left foot up between your hands and come up into crescent lunge. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers. Dip your torso to your left and stretch. Bring your torso back to center. Bend your right knee, lower down and hover. And inhale, straighten. And lower down and hover. And inhale, straighten. And one more time, lower, hover. Inhale, straighten, come all the way down, touch down softly, point your right foot, and place your hands on your hips. Shift your weight back until your right thigh is vertical. Find neutral pelvis, lengthen buttocks down, lift low belly in and up. Bend your left knee a little deeper. Hug your elbows in toward one another. And draw from your right foot into your hips. Draw from your hips up into your chest, come up over and back. Mm -hmm. Keep your legs strong, belly strong, neck strong. Tone your belly more to lift your torso back up. Place your hands down onto the floor, step back, lower down, chakturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale, place your right foot up between your hands and come up into crescent lunge. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers. Tip your torso a little bit to your right. There we go. And bring your torso back up to center. Bend your left knee, lower hover, and inhale, straighten. And two more times, lower hover, inhale, straighten, and lower hover, and inhale, straighten. This time, touch all the way down. Point your left foot, place your hands on your hips, shift your weight back, 
a neutral pelvis, and then sit into your right leg again a little bit. Hug your elbows in toward one another. Draw from your left foot into your hips. Zip from your pubic bone to your sternum. Come up over and back. Anjaneyasan. Couple breaths here. Tone your belly to lift your torso back up. Place your hands down onto the floor. Step back. Lower down. Chaturanga. Inhale. Urdhva Mukha. Exhale. Abdho Mukha. Inhale here. On your exhale, crawl or hop to the front of your mat, onto your shins, and then stand up on your knees. Again, either Uusrasana or Lagu Vajrasana. Lengthen your buttocks down, lift your low belly in and up. Send your thighs forward, lean your upper chest back. Either hands to heels or take your hands to the backs of your thighs and start to crawl your hands down as close to the backs of your knees as possible. Keep this back bend shape. And then just from your knees, hinge back, lean back, and come back up. Do that a few more times. You will feel this and should feel this in your quadriceps. <laughs> Start small, and then, and then increase the range of motion. Okay, one more. <laughs> and come all the way back up. Woohoo! Place your hands in front of your knees. Either step it back or hop back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale, lift your left leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale, bring your left shin up to your wrist and come into pigeon prep. All right. And then from here, place your left hand in front of your left shin. Bend your right knee, hug your right heel towards your right hip. Hug your inner thighs in to protect your low back. And then clasp the inner edge of your right foot. Hug your right heel towards your right hip. You might stay right here in the quad stretch again, or mermaid pose. Wrap your right arm, slide your right arm up and around so the top of your foot comes into the crook of your right elbow. Point your right fingertips up toward the ceiling. Hug your inner thighs in, find balance. Stretch your left arm up, bend your elbow, reach down and clasp. Okay, and then slowly unwind, stretch your left arm up, your left hand down, your right hand down. And step back, plank, inhale, exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. And exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale here. Exhale, bend your knees, walk or hop forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Urdhva Namaskarasana. Exhale, Tadasana. Okay, one more piece. From here, stretch your arms up over your head. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers. Tip your torso to your right and stretch. Inhale, come back up to center. Tip your torso to your left. Inhale, come back up to center. Hug your right thigh into your chest. And again, same process. Bring your left hand to your left hip. And reach down with your right hand, clasp your right big toe, stretch your right leg forward. Mm -hmm. And draw your right arm and right leg out to your right. Bring your right leg forward again. Slowly release the clasp, point your right foot, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Flex your foot, swoop it through and back. Hug your right heel towards your right hip. Pause for a moment, feel your hamstrings engage. Reach back with your right hand, clasp the outer edge of your foot. Hug your inner thighs in, stretch your left arm forward. Kick back and up for a nut throw adjustin. And keep on lifting your chest up. Kick back into your right hand, stretch forward with your left arm, and kick back and stretch forward. Keep kicking into your right hand as you slowly come back to the hamstring curl from your palms to the center of your chest, and then come into warrior three. Torso down, stretch your right leg straight. One more inhale here, and fold down into standing split. Walk your hands back forward, either come straight through vinyasa or a couple little hops up toward handstand on your way back through vinyasa. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and we'll meet in downward facing dog. So begin to make your way there if you haven't already. Hmm. Inhale, lift your right leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale, place your right foot up between your hands and come up into warrior two. Inhale here. 
Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Switch your left arm over your face. Inhale, warrior two. And exhale, bring both hands down. Step back and lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, curl your chest up, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. And inhale here. And exhale completely. Inhale, lift your right leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale, bring your right shin up to your wrist. Uh -huh. And come into pigeon prep. Same options apply here. Place your right hand in front of your right shin. Hug your inner thighs in. Bend your left knee. Reach your left hand back and clasp the inner edge of your foot. And you can come into the quad stretch. And you can come into mermaid pose. All right. Or it's like if you were here at the beginning, said you might want a strap for this last piece, you can grab a strap or towel. Loop it around the top of your foot, just kind of in a loose loop, <laughs> kind of awkwardly, okay? Take your hand as close to the foot as possible. Hug your upper arm in. Rotate your left elbow forward and all the way up. And then reach the other arm back, okay? And if you're still going from here, you can call your hands down the strap. Reach down toward your foot. Lay your head back. Okay. And then slowly make your way up and out. If you use a strap or towel, move it out of the way. And step back plank. Either straight to down dog or vinyasa to downward facing dog. Mm -hmm. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. And take one more inhale. On your exhale, bend your knees, walk or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, draw your gaze forward. Exhale, fold down over your legs. And inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, lower your arms all the way down by your sides. Okay, home stretch. Stretch your arms up, reach up. Tip your torso to your left. Stretch and lengthen the right side of your body. Inhale, come back up to center. Tip your torso to your right and stretch. Good, good. Inhale, come back up to center. And from here, hug your left thigh into your chest. Place your right hand on your right hip. Stretch your left arm inside your left leg. Clasp your left big toe. Stretch your left leg forward. And draw your left arm and left leg out to your left. Uh-huh. And stretch your left leg back forward. Slowly release the clasp. Point your left foot. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Flex your foot. Swoop your legs through and back. Hug your left heel towards your left hip. And hamstring curl. And clasp the outer edge of your left foot with your left hand. Stretch your right arm forward. Natharajasana. Kick back and up. When lifting your chest, your sternum up. And kick back into your left hand. Stretch forward with your right arm. One more time. Kick back. And stretch forward. Keep kicking into your left hand as you come back into the hamstring curl. Bring your palms to the center of your chest. And come into warrior three. Lower your chest down. Stretch your left leg back. And then come into standing split. Fold over your right leg. Walk your hands back forward. Either come straight through vinyasa or a couple little hops up toward handstand on your way back through vinyasa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Begin to make your way there. If you haven't already, inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale, lift your left leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale, place your left foot up between your hands and come up into warrior two. Inhale here. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, bring both hands down. Step back, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Inhale, lift your left leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale, bring your left shin up to your wrist and come into pigeon prep. Again, same options. Place your left hand in front of your left shin. Bend your right knee. Reach back and clasp the inner edge of your foot by hugging your inner thighs in as you hug your right heel and down. You can stay in the quad stretch or come into mermaid pose. Or if you'd like to come after the full form of the pose, it's like 
fold your strap in half, find a little loop and loop it up around your foot. Crawl your hands to your foot, as close to your foot as possible. Hug your inner thighs in to find balance. And hug your upper right arm toward the right side of your torso. Rotate your right elbow forward and up. Maybe even bring the second arm in if you have balance. And if you're still doing good there, walk your hands down your strap to your foot. Draw your head back and your foot to your head. And then slowly make your way up with control. If you have a strap or towel, move it out of the way. Calmly step back to plank. And either straight to down dog or vinyasa to downward facing dog. Okay, y'all. Mm. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Take one more inhale. On your exhale, bend your knees, walk or hop forward and through to sit down. Yay, we made it. <laughs> Hook your right ankle over the top of your left thigh. Bring your legs into your chest for a simple figure four stretch. We'll help to work some of that perhaps intensity out of the low back. Think of broadening through your low back here. And then switch sides. Hook your left ankle over the top of your right thigh and hug your legs in here. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Yeah. Mm. And lower both feet back down to the floor. Stretch your arms out by your sides and lift your shins up until they're parallel to the floor. Draw your legs down to your right. Twist your chest to your left. A couple breaths here. Inhale, come back up to center. Draw your legs down to your left. Twist your chest to your right. Look over your right arm. Inhale, come back up to center. Hug your thighs into your chest and rock, wrap your arms around your shins. Almost like you're giving yourself a big hug. And then slowly release the clasp. Extend your legs out fully along the floor. Send your arms out by your sides. Find a comfortable position for at least a couple breaths here. And if you can take more time, please do. If you need to be done with practice right now, let's sit up. This is where we'll end. Thank you so much for the gift of your company this morning. Namaste. Thanks, everyone. That was fun. <laughs> oh, my back bends. Yeah. All right, um, ah, so good to be here with you. I, your presence is definitely felt. Um, I have some other like, ideas for classes that I'm going to be offering in the kind of near-ish future, about mid-June. I'll probably offer a class of my own on, it's like an, an hour-long class, um, on Mondays, and that'll be donation-based. So it's like, it's kind of like a pay-what-you-can sort of a thing. Um, and so I'll keep you all posted on that. Um, I guess that's assuming that you're on my email list. Um, if you're not, you can go to NicoleChaseYoga.com and sign up. Um, and thank you so much for, for being here, for, for filling my day, my morning with, with some joy. Enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy your weekend. All right. And until the next time, <laughs> bye-bye for now. Love y'all. Stay safe and healthy. <laughs> Also.